I was just uh, thinking the other day how God's goodness is often missed in the church and is very often replaced with methods and principles for Christian living. Now, an example, uh, I was listening to the radio the other day. Lee Strobel was the guest on a program, and I don't know what you think of Lee Strobel. He's best known, I think, as someone who's involved in apologetics for, for Christianity. But anyway, uh, aside from what he's known for, he was telling a story, and, and this was a really neat story, about how a few years ago the Lord put on his heart to give $500 to this woman that he barely even knew. And uh, so he went to his wife and said, you know what, I think the Lord is doing this. And they both agreed they should do this. And so anyway, they gave, uh, they went to the bank, got an anonymous check for $500 and sent it in the mail to this woman. Uh, in the meantime, before the woman got this anonymous check, she called Lee and she said, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got these car repairs and it's going to come to $497. I don't know what I'm going to do. Would you please pray for me? And so he said, yeah, yeah, I'll pray for you. And uh, anyway, the, the point of his story wasn't any principle for giving, wasn't any method to follow. It was God is good. God is good. He provided for that woman uh, before she had before she had even prayed the prayer. Uh, so the point is God is good. But in the church, so often, what I've found, at least in my experience, is that we'll take a story like that and we'll say, see, uh, Lee Strobel did that. Now, we need to apply that to our lives and be generous and to be givers. And, uh, you know, all the stories, I'm sure you've heard s sermons. If you've heard as many giving sermons in your life as I've heard, you've heard all the verses that come out. <laughs> Just a couple of examples. The woman, the, the widow who gave her last two pennies, she, she gave all that she had. Now we need to do the same. And Paul, when he was writing to the Philippians, uh, they had gone beyond their means to give to him, to help him in his travels and in everything that he needed as he went and proclaimed the gospel. And so, uh, and so Paul wrote to simply thank them for doing that. He said, it's not that you needed to do that. I'm just thankful that God provided you with that opportunity. And so we take that and we make it into a principle. See, the Philippians, they gave beyond their means. So we need a new roof on our church building. We need uh, to go do this. We need this. Uh, and we need to pay the bills. And so we need you to give beyond your means as well. And it becomes a rule. It becomes a principle. And uh, we fall back on all these verses in order to try to get people to give, when I think the point of it all is that God is good. Uh, so that's really all I wanted to say. Just to, to, instead of trying to make every Bible story into a principle for Christian living, let's focus on the fact and, and realize that God is good. And then when we do that, when we soak in his love and in his grace, when we get to know him intimately, uh, it's not going to be a principle or method that someone teaches us that's going to get us to give. It's going to be the fact that his love is in our hearts, and we go, wow, there's a need here. I am wanting to give to help out wherever it's necessary to help out, and it's going to be rather so something that's done out of love rather than something that's done out of duty or out of some uh, so-called principle. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you again.